The Chicago Bears will take on the Arizona Cardinals in week 13. So let's talk about it. What is going on? Y'all five sports talk back at it with another video talking some bears. And as you guys can probably tell by my voice, I'm a little under the weather. So that's why I was not able to get to the preview for the Bears game sooner this week. I was hoping to, again, recover fully, still kind of recovering. And the show must go on. I got I to gotta put the content out for you guys. I, I got to do it. I'm too dedicated to this. So uh, that's what I'm here to do. And uh, let's let's talk about it. All right. So with that being said, we got the Bears, Cardinals, Bears at home, seven and a half point underdogs in this one going up against a team in the NFL with the best record at nine and two. So a lot to get into here. Let's get started. All right. We'll start at the top here with a lot of the injuries and Maybe it's kind of better that I waited this long to make this video because there was so much injury news we're waiting on, and we're still waiting on, by the way. But as far as the Bears go, we're not getting Justin Fields this week. I thought we were. I thought Justin Fields would be back. He's dealing with the ribs issue. Remember, he had bruised ribs after the last game, and so uh, he's not medically cleared. I, I do believe that. I don't think it's it's Nagy holding out Fields and starting Dalton over him. By the way, Andy Dalton is going to be the starting quarterback. Uh, so that's that. Aaron, excuse me. Allen Robinson is doubtful, so he's probably not going to play in this one. He hasn't played in the last couple of games, so that is a big blow, right? You're down your quarterback. You're down your wide receiver one. And then as far as the Cardinals, they've uh, also been dealing with the same situation, quarterback one and wide receiver one in Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins. They've been out the last three games, I believe. Well, they're game time decisions, but more likely than not, they're going to be playing this week, which is bad news for the Bears, obviously, because Kyler Murray was playing at an MVP level. DeAndre Hopkins, obviously one of the best receivers in the NFL. So we take a look at that. Then let's take a look at the fact that the last three games without Kyler or D-Hop, the Cardinals still have gone two and one, right? Two and one, which is pretty, pretty solid. Colt McCoy has more than managed the ship. He's actually gotten them a couple of wins. And so this is going to be a tough one for the Bears. Obviously, there's, there's no... Hiding against that fact, this is going to be a very, very tough game for the Bears because the Cardinals are the team in the NFL with the best record, folks. They've got two losses on the year. All right, one of them to the Green Bay Packers and the other one to the Car uh, excuse me, the, the Panthers when it was Colt McCoy starting. So, again, take what you want from that one, if you will, but we know how good the Cardinals are. Uh, defensively, they're overall fifth in the NFL, fourth against the pass, 17th against the rush. So if you do want to kind of pick... A funnel here it's it's definitely against the run though they're not weak they're middle of the pack uh but the formula really is if, if you want to beat the cardinals which only two teams have done is you run the football and you play key boy right christian mccaffrey almost ran for 100 yards against his defense and then aaron jones and aj Dillon combined for almost 100 yards against this defense so you want a heavy dose of david montgomery in this one especially with andy dalton starting and not justin fields and you want to go ahead and play keep away from from kyler and company so it's going to be tough here, folks. Uh, obviously, it's hard for me to pick the Bears in this one. I'm probably not going to pick the Bears. I'm actually not going to pick the Bears in this one. And I don't think a lot of people are, and, and it makes sense, right? Look, the Cardinals are just a better team. They're the better team, better offense, better defense, better overall, better coached. Where do the Bears have an advantage? Maybe running back, right? Uh, you'll have David Montgomery, who's better than James Conner. But for the most part, folks, again, especially if D-Hop and, and, and Kyler play, this should be a route. So as much as I would love to pick the Bears, I, I can't. I can't do it. The Cardinals are the better team, best record in the NFL. And they're going to go ahead and come into Chicago and, and win this game. And I got the Bears losing to the Cardinals. And the score, I'm going to give you two scores here, right? If if it is Kyler and if it is uh, D-Hop back, DeAndre Hopkins back for the Cardinals, I'm going to say the Cardinals win this one 30-13. I think it's going to be a route. I, I don't see Andy Dalton keeping up with this uh, offense. And then if it is Colt McCoy under center, and let's say DeAndre Hopkins is not there, I still see the Bears losing, folks. Bears have lost to the Ravens with Tyler Huntley starting at quarterback. So it'll be much closer. That would be more like a 24-17 game. But we've seen Colt McCoy win games with, with the Cardinals when he's starting. So this is uh, arguably our toughest game thus far this season, going up against the best team in the NFL in, in terms of record. And there's really nothing I can say to, to kind of sell myself on the Bears winning. Um, again, like the only thing that could potentially uh, the Bears could do is run the football and play keep away. 
uh, and, and control the clock, milk it, and, and, and have time of possession. But otherwise, the Cardinals, they're no joke, folks. They're no joke. So let me know what you guys think. I got the Bears losing this one against the Cardinals, even if it is Colt McCoy, but I expect it to be Kyler and DeAndre Hopkins back. What do you guys have? Leave a comment down below, as always. Thanks for watching.